This century-old building has seen some of LA's biggest moments, but now the Memorial Coliseum faces a new challenge, how to keep cool and keep the lights on during record-breaking heat waves without overwhelming the electric grid. Hi, I'm Dr. Vicki Patrician, a faculty member with the USC Wrigley Institute and Environmental Studies Program. One of the things I study is energy systems. Thanks to climate change, the world is getting hotter. The 10 hottest years have all been since 2014, and 2024 was the hottest summer on record in Los Angeles. Extreme heat means more cooling, and that strains the electrical grid. Part of the problem is that old buildings like this weren't exactly designed to be energy efficient. Well, we can't tear it down and build a new one. That's not practical for the environment or the economy. So what are we going to do? We are going to need some solutions to help this building be more energy efficient. First, we need more clean energy, solar, wind, geothermal, to meet our rising demands. But second, and just as important, we need to make older buildings more energy efficient. And that's something I'm working on here at the Coliseum. Step one, perform an energy audit. In order to come up with solutions, we first have to see where our energy is going. So we use simple devices to measure the amount of energy different machines were pulling. Things like cashiers, grills, refrigerators, and these nacho cheese dispensers. Fun fact, we figured out that each one of these nacho cheese dispensers pulled enough energy every single week to charge your cell phone 4,000 times. We were able to see what was drawing power during big events like Trojan football games. And what was drawing power even when no one was in the Coliseum. Step two, solve for less energy usage. Some of our solutions were surprisingly simple. Take those nacho cheese dispensers. Well, we're still using them, but now we unplug them between games. That saves 100 kilowatt hours per machine every single year. Another thing we discovered is that the HVAC units were cooling empty suites on non-game days. So we went ahead and changed the temperature settings for those non-game days, and now we can save major electricity and major money. Energy efficiency is just one solution the Coliseum is exploring. For instance, with the help of other environmental studies faculty and students, this has now become a zero waste facility. We've replaced plastic cups with biodegradable ones, all trash is sorted, and any food waste goes into this anaerobic biogas digester where it's made into compost. Every step adds up. If buildings across the country could take steps like these, we could drastically reduce energy usage while keeping the places we love.